As morning dawned, Baghdad residents were assessing the damage after coordinated attacks left scores dead and more than 200 wounded. The targets, mostly Shiite civilians out at restaurants and cafes, suggested al-Qaeda-linked Sunni militants were responsible. We managed to rescue people from this building. We found the dead bodies of young people. The cafe was burned out, shops were damaged, families perished. Hospitals across the city were packed with the injured. Medical teams have been rushed off their feet trying to patch up those with surface wounds and keep those critically hurt alive. The night before, smoke was rising over buildings, the attacks hitting in at least 13 separate neighborhoods around Iraq's capital. It was the deadliest day in the country for months. The attacks assign any declaration the insurgency was defeated would have been premature. And there were fresh threats Wednesday against Christians in Iraq. Days after a bloody siege at one of Baghdad's biggest Catholic churches killed nearly 60 people and horrified the community. A statement from al-Qaeda's front group in Iraq said Christians were legitimate targets, adding that the killing sword won't be lifted from their necks. The militants have been demanding the release of Muslim women they say are being held by the Coptic Christian Church in Egypt. The statement didn't specify any one location for attacks, raising the specter of violence against Christians across the region. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.